Hi, welcome to this episode of Lightboard Lessons. And today we're going to talk about virtual server connection setup flows. And so there's a lot of different virtual server types, and we'll work through several of them, not all of them, uh, but just to give you an idea of, of the different ways that the big IP can process traffic. And so we're going to start with the ones that are based on Fast L4, and that would be the Performance L4, the Forwarding uh, Layer 2, and the Forwarding IP. And you know, they, all three of these process traffic the same way in that it's packet by packet. So right here on the big IP, we have the SIN comes in and, and then the SIN goes back to the server. And likewise, the app comes back uh, and then immediately sends that back to the client. There's no delay on the big IP's front to actually collect any, um, anything to, uh, to try and do any analysis on it uh, before it interacts uh, back to client and server. It's just really a, a packet by packet basis, this traffic's going through. And so, um, you know, if you wanted to do any kind of uh, connection setup uh, before you send anything back to the server, these are not the, uh, the virtual server types that you're looking for. Um, but you can see that every message is going back and forth. And then down here, you see uh, the data actually uh, comes through. Uh, but again, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, packet by packet. and so. Uh, in 12.0 and forward, you can attach an HTTP virtual to a performance L4 uh, profile, uh, but that's not going to change the way that these uh, uh, the, the, the profile handles uh, packets. It's still going to send them back and forth. And uh, just a slight difference with uh, performance L4 and the forwarding IP, it's actually looking for a destination IP uh, in this process. With the forwarding L2, it's actually looking for a destination MAC, and so uh, a VLAN group is required for that one. The next one I'd like to take a look at is the standard virtual server with a TCP profile attached. And so in this one, you actually are going to completely set up this, uh, this handshake. And so as we work our way through that, we have the handshake. That's going to be completely set up before we then send anything back. And at this point, we are going to establish the pool member when we send that on to the server. So we set up the handshake on that side as well as we did this one. So we have two independent TCP sessions going here. And then when the client sends data, then we can go ahead and send that, that data back. And just, you know, for, uh, uh, illustration purposes, I made the data sit down here. Uh, really, as soon as that handshake is, that traffic was going to come over, uh, but we're not going to send that traffic again until this handshake is complete. So, uh, but that's, that's the, um, the flow with a, a standard profile. And at this point, with a standard with a TCP, you can start to do things to manipulate the traffic a little bit more uh, than you could when you're only looking at a packet by packet basis, you're actually waiting for data and collecting it. And so if you wanted to do any kind of a TCP payload analysis, you know, with a standard with TCP, that, that's where you're gonna be able to start doing those kinds of things with iRules. So this next one that we're gonna take a look at is the performance HTTP with an idle server side flow. And what happens is the big IP already has an existing uh, server connection. And because that initial server connection is already there and it's sitting idle, when we do get a new handshake from new connection from the client, then I don't need to establish anything new. I've got that HTTP GET. It comes in and I immediately pass that back uh, to the back end. And so from a performance perspective, that really helps to not have the additional uh, setup time uh, from big IP to server. And, and so in this case, pool members already selected, it's gonna go. So if you do need to do anything to where you need to do analysis of where that connection needs to go, um, well, in this case, that's not gonna be terribly helpful because it's, it's just gonna send it on to an idle one. So obviously if you did, you would be uh, altering that and decreasing the performance. So, you know, maybe not the best um, option if, if you really need to control where those particular requests are coming through. But, uh, again, this is uh, for performance purposes. This last one that we're going to take a look at today is the performance HTTP uh, without an idle server for side flow, but that also has the same characteristics 
as the standard with HTTP profile. And so in this case, the traditional handshake comes in from a client and we're going to set up a new connection for that. And then we are going to select a pool member. And then that is going to finish its new connection to a server. And then as that HTTP get comes in from the client, we're going to pass that back to the server. And with a standard with full HTTP profile, this is where you can completely manipulate the um, the HTTP request that came in so you can do uh, all of your layer 7 iRules work, your, your policy work, uh, whatever you need to do uh, to manipulate that traffic. Um, since pool member was selected already right here, um, when that request comes in, possible you want to send that somewhere else. And so um, then at this point where this request comes in, then you could potentially select another pool member based upon what's coming in uh, to that data. But uh, the idea between the, the, for the standard behavior is that while that request is coming in on this side here, then you can get the connection set up on the back side so that we can handle that connection quickly as it comes in, or that, I'm sorry, that uh, when that request comes in, we can handle that quickly. So. Hopefully this has been helpful to go through some of these flows. Um, all of this data and more is available in a solution that I'll post in the article and uh, hope to see you out there in the community.